CAN bus. Is it simple or is it complicated? Here at Laser, we're trying to keep things as simple as possible for our customers. We've launched a range of new products. We've got the CAN bus interface uh, from Laser. This product is uh, having both a position light and a high beam output. Other nice thing about it, it features all of the extra parts that you require for an easy install onto the vehicle. So we've got a fused connection. We've also got a connector here, which enables you to mount a contactless reader, should you wish. If you do decide to use the contactless reader, and this generally is a customer choice, it depends if you want to have a metal to metal contact of our loom and the vehicle's can high and can low wires. If you decide you don't want a metal to metal contact, you simply plug in the contactless reader as shown. The contactless reader simply goes around the can high and the can low wires on the vehicle. And then this little reader uh, and this module will tell uh, the lamps when the vehicle high beams are on or indeed when the vehicle position lights are on. So to decide whether or not you need a uh, CAN bus, you need to uh, first check for a 12 volt signal at the back of the headlamp. It's a nice easy check. You're using a multimeter. You need someone to flash the high beams. If you've got 12 volts there, then you don't need the CAN interface module. So that's the first thing you need to check. We've got the brand new Defender here. And interestingly, although it's of course using CAN as a vehicle, you don't need to use the CAN interface uh, module. It's possible to simply use the, uh, the, the standard wiring kit. Our wiring kits, we've just launched a new uh, improved uh, wiring kit. So they've got already outputs um, uh, from the, uh, the, the CAN reader which can go onto these wiring kits if you decide to use it with the CAN reader. So we've got, for example, a green and a purple wire coming off this wiring kit. And the customer would then marry these up with the purple and green wires from the, uh, the CAN interface module. Our kits come with the splices, so you don't need to worry about hunting for those. You simply use the splices that we supply splice them together once you've got the correct lengths and then you've managed to get a, uh, a system working together quite nicely. But as I say, this Defender doesn't require CAN interface. So the way to use this loom would be to simply find the battery. You're then connecting the um, relay uh, directly to the back of the, um, to the battery 12 volt. You also need to connect the ground. You're then splicing the purple wire to the back of the headlamp high beam. So this is when you've got 12 volts at the headlamp high beam. You're connecting the purple wire onto that. That is giving the signal to the relay to say the high beams are on. Position light, you're then splicing the green wire directly to the back of the position light uh, also on the vehicle. If you've decided that you wanted to use the CAN uh, module, then here are a couple of shots of us connecting the uh, contactless reader to the can high and can low wires on this Defender. And the way to access the vehicle specific information about where your can high and can low wires are, what you need to do is download the CanMate app. You're then scanning using your phone the QR code, which is on our supplied CAN interface module. We've then got the uh, serial number, which can be uh, typed in manually, and that is giving you your specific vehicle wiring information. So where are your CAN wires uh, and how do you go about finding them? And then for dealers that are doing a lot of vehicle installs using our CAN interface module, we do recommend that you buy a RUI. Uh, this is a research and update interface the nice thing about the research and uh, update interface is that it gives unlimited downloads of uh, all of the uh, instructions. So that's the how-to guides, 
how you connect the wires onto all the different vehicles. It also gives us and our partners at CanMate uh, the opportunity to remote access to understand and diagnose any problems that you might have installing a, uh, a, um, a module on your uh, specific vehicle, or your customer's vehicle. Definitely important to buy. We recommend people have that if they're a dealer and distributor doing a lot of installs. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope we've made the CAN uh, system a little bit clearer and easier to understand. We've got all the products available to make fitting extra lights on your vehicle as smooth as possible.